hell? You know, I hope for your sake, Kurt, you didn't tell him you were still a virgin. Garrett, what the hell are we doing here? What's going on? We shouldn't have disrupted our balance. It's delicate. We worked so hard to preserve it, you know. What does that even mean? Oh, very romantic. But she forgot the rose petals and the lavender. You see, it's the small touches. Shut that... up! Do you know what we do to enemies of the balance? No. We disrupt it? Peace, we work so hard to preserve? Oh, please. please. Especially when they don't give us the information we want to know. I, 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 don't, I don't know anything. I, I, I don't know anything, okay? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't think what we're dealing with is a rubber ceiling problem, which is a good thing. But you might only want to fill this thing halfway when you're dealing with things that froth over, like barley and lentil and split pea soup. There's a very fine line between potage Saint-Germain and baby food. Trust me. Well, we certainly wouldn't want that to happen. But what about, like, broths and stuff? Well, for that, you're probably gonna Car use... Use a big pot for that. I saw it again. Hey, Garrett. Only this time it was on the train concrete. What? It was on those big things, they, they support the, uh, whatever, near the woods. Our place to send a message, don't you think? What? Look, I only saw it because I was... Anyway, it doesn't matter. I just saw it again, the symbol, the three red circles. What could it mean? Right, Kate and I are discussing pressure cookers, so if you can just give us a minute, you can get back to telling me all about what you're talking about. Yes. Sure. Sorry, don't mind me. Soup consistency is much more important than my accuracy. Right, well, I think I'm gonna pack it up now, Kurt. Alright. No problem. So, you doing anything cool she over the holiday? She's a boyfriend. I'm just saying, there's no way she'd be wearing that necklace of her own accord. I'm sorry. Why do you hang out with him? Well, admittedly, he's a little eccentric. Yes. No, 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 no. Russell Brand is eccentric. He's just weird. My condolences, by the way, Kate. Excuse me? Fired recently, by the looks of it. I'm just saying, I'm sorry to hear it. What are you Former doing? paralegal, I assume, entry level. Probably wasn't even your fault. Tough world, it really is. Yeah, I work at Houston and Feinberg down the street. But... No, 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 let me guess. You were apprehensive about something throughout the course of the day. Your nails and cuticles are all but non-existent. You were extended an invitation to the boss's office, expecting a promotion from a male boss, hence the uh, extra makeup and perfume. Citrus. Please don't smoke my nose. The wrinkles on your dress from where you repeatedly readjusted to show just a bit more skin than the memos usually suggest, but it didn't go your way, did it? No. The imprint on your coat from where you ripped your ID badge off in disgust, the gratuitous makeup gives away to the faint smear of tears, traces of glaze from the conciliatory crispy cream visibly. Else. Oh, you're being in here asking about pressure cookers. Well, you thought maybe I'll take up cooking again to try and contribute something to my rapidly deteriorating relationship. Your shoes are all How gone. How did you know about that? You're gonna have to be more specific. About my boyfriend. Oh, come on, that was the easiest part. I mean, your sass this morning said confused, have to think. Well, this lanty face showed up on my feet. What else could it mean? You know what? I was wrong. It's not weird. He's an asshole. Why? Was I, was I wrong about something? Do you have to do that to every customer? Sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. Well, try, alright? Look, you could even do it to me from time to time. Oh, what's that? I've got some sort of sediment on my pants. That's gotta mean something. No, that's just poor hygiene. You never change your pants, Kurt. Okay, well, look at my fingernails. They're all chewed up and dirty. That's gotta be significant. Poor hygiene. hygiene. <sighs> well, I haven't made a sale in a while, okay? And I really need this job. Okay, and that's my fault? Yes! Yes, I suppose I do have something to do with it. Whatever, I needed her out of here anyway. Put that down. Hey, can you take off? I need to show you something in the woods. Can you put that down? That's a... Oh, Sandra! Hi! How's it going? Still haven't moved the Iranian salt tablets, I see. Yeah, no, you see, the thing about that is actually, um... Uh, These uh, tablets so... have been here for two weeks now. Yeah, but they're pretty expensive, and people don't usually come in here expecting to buy something that's so... If people came in here expecting to buy something, then what do we need a salesperson for, Kurt? That's a very good question. Uh, I look after the store. A camera can do that. A dog can do that. And probably more effectively than you. So again, I ask you, what? 
do we need you for other than to piss off the customers? Did you restock your shelves recently, Sandra? What? I've, I've just noticed some vaguely interesting inventory changes. It's, uh, it's, it's good stuff. Imported. A bit expensive, though. Um, did you pay for this, or is this all your mother? Why do you care? Just asking. Jeez. Uh, uh, Sandra, is there a specific reason that you came here? I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not glad you did. It's I'm just... glad you asked. See, my mother told me to use my discretion when it came to matters of employment while she's away. And? And my discretion is telling me that we could do better. It is. See, my friend knows a good terrier breeder, so... For now, your services are no longer required. I see. I'll just grab my things. Hello, Kurt. What are you doing later tonight? It was here just a few hours ago. Three solid red circles, now not even a trace of pigment. Why do you care so much about graffiti all of a sudden? This mark keeps popping up at the strangest of places for weeks now. Weeks? I haven't seen any of these marks. Why have you? Only I frequent strange places. Has it ever occurred to you that this could all just be some guy who likes flaunting the law with badly adhering paint? It's the timing of it, Kurt. I think this was meant to be seen by a specific person or people. There's a reason why it was scrawled all over the body in the bathtub. Uh-huh. Wait, what? My place? So what's it like? Like living with a family of filthy, irritating, chronically intoxicated alpha lemmings. And your parents? Still won't. Yeah. Shall we? Whoever invented the subwoofer should be hunted down and executed, Kurt, no trial. There's no amount of justice in the world sufficient enough for this. All right, so what am I looking at here? Who is this guy? Nicholas Rorick, Russian painter, writer, archeologist, public figure, mystic, and philosopher. You sound like Wikipedia. That was Wikipedia. So what does this guy have to do with anything? Here. Look at this. Man of God or planning jihad? Your guide to finding out the hidden Muslim? Political affiliations aside, the Barnet Eagle tends to report on the more troubling stories that popular publications work to suppress. Suppress? This isn't Soviet Russia. A3. This happened here in Barnet? Just a few blocks up. Jesus, he's our age. This is... So there are professionals investigating this, right? I mean, like, crime scene tape, forensics teams, flashing lights. This isn't some case about a missing statue. This that is a statue real... That cost the town $14,000, and its disappearance attracted nearly every investigator in the county. Come on. It was Barnett's largest taxpayer expenditure, and if it weren't for us... Fine, would... okay. Right. Now, the police aren't opening up any investigations on this. They've previously looked at it and concluded that this group is beyond inquiry. They've seen this. Before? Yes, you don't remember? Oh. Two years ago, this symbol was found near the body of a shopkeeper when he tried to expand into a tavern that Aaron Burr used to visit. Aaron Burr. Do you just wake up every morning and tie a bag over your head? How am I supposed to I'm sorry, moving back. This symbol, designed by Rorick, was in response to the destruction caused by World War One. Okay. Okay, now the Rorick Peace Pact was used as a way to protect cultural and historical works of art. This symbol was designed to identify the works that needed protection. So why does it show up over the body of a dead guy in a bathtub? Well, obviously, it was left there by the Roy group to warn off any future cultural offenders. Even the police figured that out. Okay, the descendants of the Roy group gradually evolved into some sort of macabre crusade of, of occult fanaticism. So now they're killing people over it? Yes, it would appear so. I don't know, 
know, something seems very odd Yo, about the Bear. Uh, we're watching Pawn Stars. They're trying to sell a hat. It's like a, a raccoon hat. There's like a, it, lo it looks like a raccoon. You coming, bro? Brody, this is a moron-free zone. You are violating it with your moronity. It is 100% valid, compulsory even, to be a moron anywhere else in the house, just not here. They'll never do it, man. It's a fucking raccoon hat, bro. You... No, man, I don't think it... you're. Bro, you coming? No, no, he's not. Wait, wait, don't start, don't start yet, don't start yet. So he was killed by the Rorik people because he wanted to knock down an old bar. But what did Bathtub Guy do to piss him off? Exactly. It just doesn't add up. God, sorry, I hate that expression. People use it to shift the blame from their weak minds. It always adds up. An arithmetician doesn't blame it on the numbers. It's okay, Garrett. I knew the kid who died. You did? How? I sold drugs to him. Alright, sure. I mean, I was kind of curious about how you were paying the rent here. So, like, what did you sell? Pot? Not exactly. Now the fun thing about bath salts is trying to stay one step ahead of the DEA. Jesus. Now the DEA can only outlaw certain compounds. The substances I use have very ambiguous chemical makeups which can be easily altered without losing any of the desired hallucinatory effects. It's a totally new compound. So technically none of this stuff is even legal. Yeah, well, the law is a bit fuzzy as of now, so in short, no. Can you please explain to me how you managed to fail chemistry in high school? That wasn't chemistry. So, like, how many people are you selling this to? Well, business is picking up. If I follow the public records correctly, my formulas tend to stay legal the longest and it's not going unnoticed. Some equipment. Yep, that's another thing about this particular breed of narcotic. Easy access to the materials if you're careful about how you buy, but essentially, if you've got a kitchen, you've got a lab. The kid who died was a new customer. Does that mean anything? I'm not sure yet. Hey, Sandra, what's up? Hey, Kurt, um, I think we should go to the hookah bar tonight. Um, yeah, that, that sounds great. Okay, um, pick me up at 8. All right, I will see you at 8 then. See you then, bye. Okay, awesome, bye. Are you sure? Yeah, no, listen, I totally understand. The economy's rough and you gotta make some cuts. You got stressed. I acted like a total bitch, Kurt. Yeah, okay, you were a little harsh, but I forgive you, okay? So, you've never been to a hookah lounge before? No. Garrett really likes them though. He's always trying to get me to go to one. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll be right back. You have a very distinctive slum. It's easy to spot. But you're gonna throw out your back. You should really be. Who are those guys? Who? Oh, them. Um, I don't know. They just asked for directions. Right. So why were they giving you money? I'm sorry. I may not be as perceptive as you, Garrett, but I'm not an idiot. Well, your hairstyle might suggest otherwise. I'm just. I'm here a on date, a. Of course, with the girl that fired you. How's that going? Well. And he shall appear. Kurt, our table's ready. Great. Sandra, you look interesting. <laughs> interesting? Yes, wouldn't you agree, Kurt? Uh, yes? No. no. Don't you have anything better to do on a Saturday night than smoking tobacco by yourself? No, I guess you don't. Actually, that reminds me. Um, thank you. So much. And, um, by the way, 
the structure of your face doesn't lend itself well to your hair being swept back like that. So I think you just um, okay, um there. It's just much um, better. Garrett, I think you should go. I don't know. No, 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 it's fine. I was just leaving. Um, it was great seeing both of you. Enjoy your dinner, and I will um. Oh God, oh, I'm s uh. So, can you set our tables ready? Kurt! 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 Garrett! Kurt! Garrett! What the fuck, dude? What are you still doing here? I'm being followed, isn't that cute? What? By who? I don't know, I've circled the block like seven times. He's really determined. I may go for another round if you want to join me, just just don't look, it'll ruin the fun. And, uh, here. You may want to give this barrette back to your ex-boss next time you see her. Just, uh, keep it in your pocket. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be wearing the same pants. So how do you know you're being followed? Because he's terrible at it. I'm sure even you'll notice. Look. He's even got the newspaper and everything. Wow, yeah. Yeah, we are dealing with someone whose mind has been distorted by a gratuitous amount of passive entertainment. So how could a guy that sloppy pull off a murder like that and still get away with it? Well, that's something I'm trying to deduce. So you think this is the guy? Well, to be sure, we should follow him. Right. What? Well, here's me. I had a great night. Huh? I had fun, I really did. You don't live here. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night? Didn't even wait to see if I went inside. Some date he is. Not calling him again. Let's go. Uh, I can't. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta start looking for job interviews tomorrow. And maybe you shouldn't be getting involved in this kind of stuff. I mean, these people could be dangerous for all we know. And really, it's not any of your business, right? He's... he's getting away. I'll... I'll see you tomorrow.
Brody! <laughs> What's up, bro? Come here. What about the, the zone? Restriction temporarily suspended. Hey, Sandra. You kind of just left me as Yeah, I... Yeah, your friend Garrett was also kind of an oh, asshole. Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. He does a lot of weird stuff. Oh, is he on his period or something? Like, why is he like that? Well, actually, it's a little bit hard to explain. Well, why don't you explain to me over Italian food? Oh, yeah, totally. Italian sounds great. Okay, well... Hold on, one second. Oh, hi. I'm really sorry. Can I call you right back? Why? What's wrong? Um, yeah, it's actually... Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm really sorry. Something just came up. Wouldn't the symbol just have disappeared by now? They're meant to disappear. They're just rendezvous points. How do you know that? Because those three circles, it's the international symbol for pawnbroking. I realized it by now. They're meant for commerce. Commerce? So the same kind of stuff kind that you're yeah. involved yeah. in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Wait, so how do they know where the symbols pop up? I mean, can't they just use cell phones? The cell phones are too exposed. The banner's placed in various locations around the woods, and then the proprietor visits them intermittently, I'd mention. But why the woods? Because that's where these grow. Do you just carry these around with you? I'm sure our friend spends a lot of time in those woods. Yeah, just like you do. That particular fungus has attracted a lot of attention from the local DEA office over the past few months. And a number of these have been found in the possession of less astute distributors than myself. Business with these mushrooms has to be kept very discreet as to not attract any unwanted attention. Speaking of which, keep that down. Oh, sorry. Wait, how do you know when the meeting starts? Well... Just a little long. No, this is stupid. There's no shady rendezvous. It's freezing. We're going home. They're coming. Waiting is often the biggest part of the job. This isn't a job, okay? You don't even have one of those. And maybe the sooner you realize Maybe that... I'll what? Find an occupation as secure and engaging as yours. You know, you made me cancel my date with... With whom? The boss that treats you like shit? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. She fired you. And you're still at our every beck and call like some Shetland sheepdog. You're acting pathetic. Oh, I'm pathetic. You're the one who's still holding on to something that happened in middle school. I mean, the town prints our page in the paper, they give us a couple of shitty plastic badges, and suddenly you think you're a fucking detective. It was, it was dumb luck. It's not dumb luck. It required skill. It involved deduction. It necessitated... You know as well as I do that it was just a fluke that we found that statue. And guess what? It happened six years ago. You need to move on and find a real career path. A real life. Like dropping out of college after a semester. At least I tried, okay? I mean, what are you doing? Selling drugs? Getting kicked out of your parents' place? Running around chasing mysteries that you made up? What? The case was closed, Garrett. The professional police detectives who, I might remind you, went to college concluded that it was a cult killing. That's it. Then, of course, you come along with your insane theories just so that you can be the town hero again. Okay. If I made it all up, why are you here? Because I'm your friend, Garrett. I'm the only person that not only puts up with your shit, but actually cares about it. So I'm telling you this as a friend. You need to stop living in the past and fucking grow up. Kurt, I'm not making this up. This is real. No, I'll tell you what's real. I am freezing my ass off at 5 a.m. in the middle of the goddamn woods with a delusional sociopath who doesn't give two shits about the well-being of his single, solitary friend. Kurt, Kurt. No, no, you listen to me, okay? If this is all real, 
Then where are these bad guys you keep talking about? Kurt! No, no, seriously! I want to see them! Where the fu- I don't- Oh shit, Garrett, this is the cult. That cult. It's the, the Rochester thing. Fuck. I'm always wrong, aren't I, Kurt? Listen, I love art, okay? I love buildings. I always give the suggestion about in museums. I paint in my spare time. <laughs> Aaron Burr! Save your breath, Kurt. The Rorick group has nothing to do with this. Then why the candles? Why the hoods? Garrett, just please cooperate for once. You'd be wise to listen to your friend over here. Insolence will simply expedite your death. No, I think you should listen to me for once. Garrett, these guys They are gonna... can't do anything to us. And what makes you so sure about that? Because I know something you'd be very interested to hear. What is it? See, Kurt? You think they care what I have to say if this was just about some old arty what stuff? What do you know? What do I know? Hmm, that is a load. You may want to give the spirit back to your ex-boss next time you see her. I'm sure you'll be wearing the same pants. Keep it in your pocket. Tell us. Well, for one, I know who's stealing your customers. Shit, Stevie does know. Shut up, Greg! No names, remember? How did you find out? Oh, whoa, guys, I'd love to tell you, but I can't think with these distractingly uncomfortable cuffs cutting into my wrist. Who's the competitor? Oh, now there's this distractingly uncomfortable knife to my throat. Who is it? Just kill him, Steve. No names, Greg. He's more trouble than he's worth. Oh, it'd be terribly silly to off me, don't you think? I mean, even you two should realize that. You need me to tell you where it all went wrong. Ah. You're right. Thank you. You, on the other hand. Processes to create and distribute any respectable product. Ours? Mm. You. You're I can't imagine having this any better. You just couldn't stand to see your customers leave, could you? Even if it was for, not to flatter myself, a far superior product. Uh, Garrett. With your mother's store doing so poorly, you just had to make an example Garrett. of certain defectors. Garrett, do you smell that? You should, Kurt. I've had the stove running for four days now. Oh, that could get expensive. Either of you two come any closer. I'll just flip this little switch and we'll all get served up flambe. Oh, come on, really? You're bluffing, obviously. You've been right before. But how right? Impress me, Garrett. Take me through your deductions, step by step. Okay, with pleasure. Um, first, let me just point out that your paranoia of me hanging around your mother's store was entirely warranted. I your perspicacity. 
First thing I noticed was uh, many of the same products that I have to buy on separate trips, you can just have imported without garnering any suspicion. Um, except mine, of course. What else? Oh, your hair at the lounge fell out of its ghastly bun into this sort of volutinous state which could only imply the heavy use of corrosive chemicals in uh, our line of work. Then I noticed this pale, dry sediment stuck to your shoes, which I've only ever encountered in the forest, which I then deduced you must have conducted many of your more sensitive business dealings out there. My suspicions of your involvement in the drugs was later validated by your friend's uh, heightened breathing rates and dilated pupils. Low consumers, I presume. You're forgetting about our three mutual lowlifes that I had killed. I wasn't near any of those when they happened, though. Yeah, I've always wondered how you attained henchmen like that. Quite loyal. I've always wanted some of those. Free drugs. They'll do just about anything. Interesting. Well, they make poor confederates, though, you must admit. Well, at least they had you to make it look so convincingly occult. Yeah, they did. Now, if you two would kindly leave my store, we can continue this at another time, if you'd like. You have nothing to incriminate me. Actually, um... Glad we could clear that up. Now if you'll kindly hand me the torch. No! Stand back! Stand back or I swear God! How's that for assault and battery, bitch? Now I'm actually glad I didn't saw any of these. I had it under control. Yeah, I saw that. Please, in a space roughly 11,000 cubic feet, you need at least 216 hours of continual gas flow for there to be any hope of causing a spontaneous reaction. You can call the police now if you want, Kurt. Yeah, but if you turn her in, won't she just tell them about your drug and No, no, no. This is where superior chemistry becomes a propitious part of our trade. None of my products are actually illegal, remember? Yeah, but you're still going to have to stop. I mean, they're going to keep traces on you now. Actually, that might be okay. Is it? I think I have an idea. W. Ernest Wells, former director of the choir at the local high school. Three of the students who lost the competition form last year and hadn't showed up to school in weeks. What do you think it means? I'm not sure yet. 